There's not a whole lot I can show you about grappling without a partner in my videos, but today I'd like to talk about the gable grip and the S-grip. These are the strongest grips in grappling. Here's the gable grip. With your thumbs on the outside, unlike a traditional hand clasp, there's the S-grip with the fingers linked together. Here's what people tend to do if they don't know better, which is to clasp the hands with the thumbs on the outside. That is a no-no. The reason being, it comes apart very easily. This is Dan Gable, the world-famous wrestler who the Gable grip is named after. This grip is employed to this day in submission, grappling, MMA, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, etc. Here's how it works. The thumb on the outside, as opposed to the thumb on the inside, creates a much stronger grip. Here's a step-by-step -step of how to perform the Gable grip. Try to pull your hands apart while performing the Gable grip and you'll notice it's extremely difficult. Here's the S grip. Basically grip your fingers together on the inside like this. It's about as strong as the gable grip, but it gives you more room between your arms. Practice this on your heavy bag if you don't have a partner. The gable grip has a lot of uses in martial arts, not the least of which is for lifting. Here I'm using the gable grip to simply lift up my heavy bag, which weighs 100 pounds. Using this grip gives you enough leverage to lift much heavier objects or opponents, especially if you have double underhooks, which means your arms underneath your opponent's arms. You can also lift using the S grip, which is ideal if your opponent is wider. Keep in mind the gable grip gives you a tighter, closer grip. The S grip is for a wider one. Here I'm about to demonstrate what happens when you try to lift a heavy object using the thumbs, on the inside grip, it doesn't work. It simply doesn't work. And once again, the gable grip, which is the effective way. Alright, give that a try if you've never heard of those grips before. Thanks for watching. Now get out there and train.